Hi everybody. Um, I just want to show you this little thing in fifths that I've been working on. Um, you can you can give the uh, sound of a major chord or a minor chord or a dominant or a dominant seven altered with this fifths idea. If you if you start, let's say we're going to do A minor, start here on A, go a fifth to E, another fifth to B, and then go up a half step and then do more fifths, fifth up to G, fifth up to D. So you get this sound which gives you the sound of A minor. Now if you want it to be A major, then you go the same thing here, up a fifth, up a fifth, but instead of going up a half step, go up a whole step, and then up a fifth, and a fifth. So now you get the sound of like a major seven sharp 11. So a nice exercise that I do sometimes to warm up is like to do D minor, and then D flat major and then D flat minor and C major. C minor, B major, B minor, B flat major. So it's just like a nice little exercise. And you could make like a chord progression, say if you're gonna play E minor, to C major, to A minor, to F major. You know, it's just a nice way to play over uh, chords and, and get from point A to point B really fast. Nice just improvising over A. You know, just to, just to get from the bottom to the top really quickly. Another little thing I've been working on is this cool arpeggio that's actually kind of a, if you look at it as A, would be kind of Phrygian. So simple pattern, and then it just repeats. And then if you do it fast, right? So it's just. It's a nice little arpeggio that can work over this. Or if you want to look at it, it could be actually this. It could be minor as well for G minor. G may be minor with a major 7.